Right. Welcome back to another video of uh, ADAS calibration. Uh, today we're going to do a 2024 Acura Integra. Uh, we're going to be calibrating the windshield camera and let's get started. So we're going to read the vehicle. We have the vehicle identified already, right? Okay. And um, we're going to navigate for this uh, session. We're going to go directly to the ADAS uh, menu and select the option from there. Okay, the reason why we're doing this one, uh, we, uh, there is a code on memory, we don't know why. Uh, the car came in with uh, ABS lights on, uh, power steering had no assistance, uh, there was a, an airbag light on, uh, some codes related to the ECU key right, and some uh, codes related to the speed sensors in the front. Uh, all of those have been uh, taken care of. Uh, now the only thing that is left on the memory is a code for the incomplete uh, aiming of, uh, of, the front, uh, of the front camera and the windshield. So, Right here, we're going to select uh, the, the type of setup that we have. We, it, we, we don't have any, any frame or anything, so we're just going to select A. And those are the items that we're going to, the accessories that we're going to use, uh, the targets, clamps, uh, frame itself, and the measuring, uh, the measuring device, the measuring A. The so those are, those are the targets. This is the target, one for the right side, and this is for the left side. Targets in position. Now we're gonna set our uh, wheel clamps. This is the rear. This is the clamps. This is the one for the left rear. Ready and stall. Make sure it's straight. Perfect. Now we're going to put our right one. Make sure. There you go. Okay. So. Okay, uh, clamps are in place, uh, targets in place. We're gonna select uh, next. And uh, that's, uh, those are the specifications for the distance that you need in front of the vehicle uh, for a good uh, safe calibration. Those are the requirements for the vehicle. I mean, uh, remember the fuel tank needs to be full. Uh, the vehicle needs to be empty, completely empty. All the uh, fluids on the engine bay need to be uh, tapped off, and uh, and no one needs to be inside the car. So the setup for the frame, as always, uh, not first time we do it, but uh, we're going to remind you again: uh, you got to you got to start with the frame at zero. Uh, both axes need to be zero out before you start the calibration. The reason why is because uh, sometimes you need to, uh, you need to uh, perform an adjustment and if you're not centered, uh, sometimes you, you don't have enough, uh, enough adjustment uh, to, to, to compensate. So we position uh, the frame uh, fairly centered to, to the vehicle, which it is right now. Uh, those are uh, the clamps that we just installed on the uh, on the rear tire on the rear tires. Okay. 
So what the frame is going to do again, it's going to uh, find its position in reference to the clamps that we have in the back. We're going to install our measuring or measurement uh, device or measurement aid. It's got different names. So that one, we oh, set it on the front axle, just like you can see right there. So that's going to acquire the distance between the frame and, uh, and the front axle. And that's going to calculate uh, the distance between the front axle and the camera, actually. And, I, and that's also going to help the frame uh, position itself uh, in front of the vehicle. I'm so ready. So measurement, uh, measurement got acquired. Uh, so we're just going to remove uh, that uh, device. Next. Now we're going to position the frame. All right, quick thing right there. I mean, uh, remember to subs uh, subscribe to the channel. I mean, uh, we've been uh, posting videos uh, in, in, in the channel uh, related to ADAS calibrations and el electrical diagnosis. If you uh, subscribe to the channel, it'll help us uh, with, the, with the opportunity to generate more videos. So please subscribe. So right there, we're just gonna adjust the frame to the specification on, on the screen. Once we get it into the green, it should be able to move forward, but we always uh, like to leave it a, a clo as close to zero as we can. So that's one. Now we're going to move the uh, horizontal axis. Okay, and then no touch. There you go. We're gonna look it up. Okay, so that's that's how you position this frame in front in front of the vehicle. We're gonna continue with the uh, with calibration. Let me know when it's about two. Okay, that's uh, the setup for the frame. Uh, from here, um, it's still gonna ask for more uh, adjustments on the frame, which we're gonna complete in a minute. Okay, click OK. So now here is the one. So we have to put the targets at 630. All right, so, so. position targets at 630 millimeters from the center. So 630 right there. Now the other one, 630. 630. Perfect. So next. Okay. Position. So the level of the frame. The frame zero. Is yeah. It's position. Level already. Yeah, already. Click OK. So now the high. And now the height. It's at what? Uh, 1500. 1500 yeah. on the B side of the ruler. So we bring it down. B side of the ruler. Fifteen hundred. Okay. Going to press next. Okay. Click next. Now we have to turn off all uh, the lasers and the cameras. Okay. Turn them off. Okay. Turn it off. So now we have. Now to we're gonna have to enter the um, the height on uh, on the front uh, fender. Let's go. Let's go over here. What do you have? B669. 
669 on the left. 669. 669 on the right. 669. 669. Okay. So that's the standard value range. So press okay. And voila. Calibration complete. Here you go. All right. And Going command in. it again, but this, this time let's move out of the picture. Okay. So we're gonna do it again. Uh, we're just gonna command the calibration again, and we're gonna move uh, to the back of the car. So another, requ oh, another requirement for this calibration to be uh, valid is that nothing needs to be in the back of, uh, in the back of, uh, in the background of those uh, targets. So we're just gonna command it again. We're ready to do the command right now. So we're six, 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 nine. And six, six, six nine. nine. No one has touched the vehicle. Okay. Stand right now. And. There you go. Hola. Okay. So that's the result of it. Save so a screenshot for the customer. Take a screenshot. Uh, the customer or uh, whoever needs to get it. We're going to do one more full scan in this vehicle to check for codes. Let me do it real quick. If I get a chance, I'm going to uh, post on the on the video uh, the codes that this uh, vehicle came in with. Earlier today, we did uh, a video for the uh, programming on the SR on the SRS module and. Um, I'm gonna try to put uh, that along with this video or create a separate one. But uh, just for you to know, again, this is the kind of work that we do here at the shop. We calibrate uh, ADAS systems. Uh, we do electrical troubleshooting, uh, module programming, and that's what we do. So remember to subscribe to the channel to be updated with uh, the new content that we're trying to generate uh, on a, on a weekly basis now. So that's the, uh, that's the, that's the full scan taking place on that vehicle. And report. So the systems pass, pass. Clear, everything clear. Yeah, no codes. Yeah. So uh, that concludes the video. Uh, hopefully you liked it. So as always, if you found the video helpful, uh, give it a thumbs up, uh, please, and share it with a friend or someone that you that you think you might find it uh, helpful. Uh, like it. Uh, we are trying to upload uh, as much. Uh, content as we can to the channel and if you can help us by uh, subscribing it'll be like uh, greatly appreciated from from our side thank you very much we'll see you on the next one subscribe subscribe <laughs>